So this is called retrieval augmented generation. This was an inexpensive alternative to fine tuning. But even though it's not as expensive as retraining, it's expensive. It requires a lot of GPUs, etc. So an alternative for this was explored called retrieval augmented generation. As the name suggests, we retrieve, we augment, and then we generate. So the key fundamental concept here is about vectors. So what do I mean by vectors? Storing data, be it text, be it image, be it videos, anything, we store them as numbers. It represents data as numbers, as a group of numbers. But the quality of these numbers is that it retains the semantic meaning of the data. Let's say when you say king, it knows what's a king. It knows when you embed the word servant, it knows that king is the opposite of servant. And that's how it is trained. So it retains the semantic meaning of all your data and stores it in a place called vector database. So vector databases are specific databases known for storing these vectors or these numbers. So what happens when we store them? So here is the entire life cycle of RAG. So let's say I have a question. Even that question gets converted into numbers. And then from the huge data store, what we have, we have, let's say we have stored a thousand PDFs. From there, it will return some top matching results. I'll ask it to return top 10 matching results for my question, which contains the answer to that. So it will return the matching results. It will construct a prompt based on that and send it to a naive LLM. This LLM does not have anything. It's not a domain expert. It's just a general LLM. But we externally are providing it in context by getting these top 10 documents or chunks from our PDFs, which are as numbers. We convert those numbers back to text. We construct a prompt. We give it to the LLM. And the LLM is now suddenly a domain expert because it has context to what we want. It has context to what the question is about and it will give a very relevant response. So this is what RAG is about. It's being widely used and it is one of the biggest attack surfaces as well.